welcome to Aaron Plays. In this episode, we'll be doing turn nine for the coalition. Um, in the previous video, the French continued their offensive um, over on the far side of the map over here. Okay, pushing the routed and disordered units further back. And we had um, the advancement of the Grand Battery over here and the starting of the maneuver on the Hanel town. However, since my last video, there's been a little bit uh, of confusion, mainly on my part, regarding the victory conditions regarding this McKinzig stream. Okay. Um, the French, as written in the rule book, and I'll quote it verbatim, um, for the French, they gain 30, well, there are no allied units north of the Kintzig, 30 points. Now, I determine that north is up here. Okay, because according to the roundel at the top of the map, if I bring that up there, and move this over to here. That up there is north. Okay, so north of the Kinzig River. However, the Kinzig River then proceeds here. And I view from, from this point on as being north, but this point on is west. Of the river. It doesn't mention anything to the west, it just said north. So I was viewing as long as I had cleared every allied unit north of this river, I'd be gaining 30 points. Again, the river line here. Anything is west of that point. Or it could even be north of this line here. Anywhere north. But apparently Didier, the designer of the game, has clarified that it includes anywhere down here. So all these allied units I have to also clear, which I wasn't planning on doing at all. So it looks like because of, of, of that little rules clarification that's been needed, uh, my plan, which was the destruction of those guys, the taking of the town, okay, and just generally keeping these guys mulling around here, occupied and such forth. Um, well, there's only one word for it, it's bollocksed. So, I have to come up with a new plan with only effectively, as the French, I've got turns 10, 11 and 12, to clear here, I, I can't see me being able to do it because I am way out of position. My best units are on the other side. My Imperial Guard infantry are over here. Um, so yeah, so it looks like now I'm, I could still lose this battle um, by my troops being way out of position. Now, I know historically the aim of the battle for the French was to you know, as they were beating the retreat from Leipzig and clearing down here. But um, the master himself, Napoleon, always believes that defeating an enemy army is paramount. So if I defeated the units over here, the units here do not have the strength to hold up what is left of the French army. That was my thoughts anyway. And as I said, they're bollocks. So that's from my point of view. This is the actual coalition's turn. I've received orders from my um, opponent and how he wants to stop the disaster that he is facing on a troop disposition position scale. Yes, he is taking heavy losses. Um, but as I said, from the victory point scale, this could go any way now. 
Okay, so following the sequence of play, the first thing we determine is army morale level. Currently, the French have got 20 step losses and they've got one unit disordered. So their army morale level is 21. The coalition have got 63 step losses and 13 disordered stroke routed units for their army morale level of 76. So they're over their actual demoralisation level by 16 points. So they will be demoralised, which means they'll get a minus one modifier to all morale checks. Next up is the command phase. Um, Generals Beckers and Clenau on the right. Okay, so that's over this side over here. Are out of command. Okay, um, of course General Verda is in the middle of Hanau. So these two chaps are way out of command. Um, General Fresnel on the left, he's also out of command. Do I have any more out of command markers is the question. Yes I do, there we go. General Fresnel is out of command. Whereas General Spallini is in command. Okay. Um, the units themselves, um, are the majority of them are in command of the commander, so they can move within co the command range. Okay. Um, so, in... Okay, these two here were commanded by Verda, so because they're way out of command of their actual commanders, but the unit 30, he's out of command. Um, okay. All right, so that is the command phase done. Carry charges. I have instructed there are none. On to the movement phase. Okay, we're going to begin some movement on the coalition's left flank, as in way down here. Okay, so they've got some units here that they're going to try and rally. If they don't rally, they'll actually route off board. Well, move off board. Okay, they also shoot in to fall back. Here. Yeah. And he wants Mr. Spallini to try and rally them. So he'll go over there with his five fatigue. Okay. Okay, so Fresnel's staying where he is. The Cossacks, by the looks of it, are falling back slightly to here. And Mr. Lamotte, with the infantry and artillery, they're going to move one, two, change into to line. And the batteries are going to join them. With Mr. Lamotte. helping them hold in that position. They will also at that point deploy some skirmishers. Uh, or to use the proper term, voltageurs, in that position. This cavalry will fall back to here, so no cost. One, two, three, no cost. Four, five, which will add one fatigue. 
because the cavity there has gone over half its movement. The other cavalry fall back. I don't need to check which two units those are. 40 and 6. They're going to fall back to there. Seven falls back to there. The other units over here, who stays in the town, is actually joined by Verda. Um, he's got easy enough movements. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. In there. This disordered unit it remains here. Okay. Units in the town, in and near the town. This guy falls back to here, releasing the skirmisher. Um, he is going heading to back towards his commander. So that's fine. And the artillery. Going back there, technically towards their, their own commander as well. Okay, so that's everything on this side of the board. So over to the coalition's right flank and the disaster of the routed um, and disordered units in this area. However, there has been from the last um, rally phase for the coalition, some units starting to come back to the colors. Um, and according to my uh, opponent's maps and diagrams of where he wants his units to go, he wants to start forming some form of line here against the Imperial Guard onslaught that has been going on. So, um, with that in mind, let's see what uh, we can do for him. First unit he wants to move is this disordered unit here. Okay, um, so let's one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. An important part of the of the line. Next up. Okay, what's a unit in here? Oh, he's got here uh, unit twenty five. So let's find unit 25. There it is. Okay, moving that to the top. So he wants that in line here. All right, so it's got six movement points. So that'll be a free movement joint point facing course. One, sorry, one, three again, two, change it in line. Three. Okay, and he's got the divisional commander with that unit. Now, this unit, which moves six, part of the second division, Beckers, has therefore will be increasing his fatigue because he moved over half his movement. Taking a note of that because that change only occurs at the end. Okay, just for a Comparison of strength, that unit, full strength, would be three, as denoted by here. Currently, let's see what he's actually put into there, unit 25, is that is a full strength unit. So when it actually disordered, um, it disordered whilst it was full strength. So he's got three steps in in that hex there. This unit here, 30. That has got, has a brilliant strength of seven, has actually only got two steps remaining. Okay, so moving along the line, the next units he wants in up are unit 28 and 18. Which are these two here, 28, well that's 28. 
and the 18 is a unit in square. He wants them to come out of square and to go into line. And by the looks of it, I think I got that wrong. That should be, he wants that facing that way. And he wants 28 and 18. Mm, am I looking at this? Right, okay. My bad. Okay. That unit is going in there. And that unit went into there. So that came, so going in there, it came back this way. Now, when it does so, my cavalry are disordered so they can't charge. So that's where they end up. If they hadn't been disordered, they could have, could have charged there. All right. So this unit actually just comes out of square and is then joined by unit 28, which will then go sit on top. Again, now let's have a look at the strengths of those. 28 currently is on two steps and 18 currently on one, so there's three steps there. So three steps and three steps. He's also at the same time putting out some skirmishers. Here and here. Okay, that will come out in a minute. Next to form up the line is Mr. Clay now. And this unit is coming out of the woods, so it's one, two, the forming line. And they're joined by this horse battery. So unit 32, that is a full strength six steps this is unit 29 artillery battery a full step artillery battery as well there's your rock and they are led in that hex by clay now <laughs> he's giving them a good morale boost and again they release some skirmishes. Okay, well, according to my opponent's diagram, he's got a skirmisher in here as well. Um, I can see what he's done. This unit here, it's got a little two next to it. I can bring that into focus, hopefully, in the middle. There we go. So where it's got the little 28, it's got a little two in a circle. That shows it's a light infantry unit. And they can actually dispatch up to three skirmish units. But he's doing, so that light unit is doing those two. And the line unit from here will dispatch one, if there is one more. Skirmish, yeah, there we go. Into there. This routed unit calls one more hex back in at the woods. No, it remains where it is. Okay. That's unit 33. Where's unit 33? All right. Keep the fatigue with the guys. 33. So the routed unit fall, does fall back one hex. There. Unit 33. Move to there. Remember, disordered units have all round facing. The routed units will stay here. This remains here. OK, 
goes back to there. And everything else remains where it is. So that's the new line. Okay, very strong in this hex. Not so strong, three increments each in here and the disordered unit. So the main line obviously is there. That's the nut to crack, if I can. Okay, defensive fire phase. Our well, skirmishers firing on skirmishers doesn't do anything. My gun batteries over here and here have no targets. So no shooting from this side of the board. Moving the camera Ding. to this side. Right, okay. So again, by him falling back here, my only target is skirmisher, so it's not a, not a valid target. Uh, this gun here can shoot here. Um, yeah, that one's out of arc. So, um, six, five, four, three. no effect so that's that battery fired this battery here only tar real targets the town so seven six five four minus one for firing through skirmishes three and firing through the little or firing into the little village there So take this fire down to one. Okay. Need a six. Close, but no cigar. All right. So then these two batteries. Yeah. All right. So this battery's got an arc of that. This one, right. So, um, Let's pull them back nicely here. Five, four, three, two, one, or six, five, four, three, two. They could both target this, but then one will be going through the skirmishers. So we're gonna have this battery fire on these cavalry over here. So it's such as said, six, five, four, three, two. I need a, another five or six there. Got a five. So five are your two. Just double check that. I'm sure that's a hit. Or two, yep, five or six would have been a hit. Okay. So the lead unit there is 40. And that's their first step loss. Okay, morale. Their printed morale is eight. Okay, they are fatigued because they are part of Fresnel's command, so that takes them to a seven. And they are, I could say disorganized or not, demoralized, the army demoralized, and takes them to a six. So six or lower, and they're okay. They're all a nine, so they disorder. Okay, we are currently in turn nine, so they're a nice nine marker. So the unit underneath them now needs to take a morale check. There again, their morale is eight. Better checks if there are any significant losses, six. They have not. So their morale is, printed morale is eight. Stacked with a disordered unit, drops that to a six. Fatigued and disorganized, drops them to a four.
I roll a seven, so they disorganize too. Okay, when you disorganize, it goes back two hexes towards its line of communications, which will take them to here. This battery will fire here. Five, four, three. So a four, five, or a six to as a hit. I rolled a one, which is a miss. Okay, I believe that is defensive fire. Offensive fire. All right. So they have a b artillery battery here. Um, it's got fire strength of. Now this is unit number eleven. Make sure there's no losses on it. No, nope, that's fine. So it's got a fire strength of four, four, three, two. So it needs a five or six. They rolled a one, no effect. Okay. Uh, that's it for that side. And for the other side, they have an artillery battery with clay now. Let's move this camera over. Do over here. Right. Um, okay, so they have one battery, which is under clay now. Um, battery 29. Get already check this. You get it's at full strength. Um, no matter where he fires, he'll be firing through skirmishes. So, four, three, two, one. He's a six. No. Okay, so no losses from fire on the offensive fire phase. Melee. I don't think the coalition is set up anywhere for melee, so the answer to that is no. Into the rally phase. They have a fair few bits of that going on. Okay, so okay, we're in turn nine, so they can rally anything which has a seven or lower. So starting over here, morale of seven. Oh, sorry, turn seven. Okay, printed morale of an eight. They are fatigued, minus one. So it's a seven, demoralized, six, and disorganized, four. Four or lower? No, they get back two X's. Shrouded unit here. No, that's a, it's got a one on it. We know that actually is um, an 11, the earliest it could rally. So this unit here has got a five. Prism rail six. Minus two for disorganized. Takes it to four. Minus one for fatigued. Minus one for demoralized. Takes it to a two. You know what? They wouldn't even try. Because if they fail, which is the only going to pass on the snake eyes, they have to go back two spaces. And the first, the only space they can go is here. And when they enter a routed space, they would route. 
and it'll go full movement, which will be one, two, three, four, five, six, I'll get them to there. So I'm not gonna try that one. Um, this unit here, that'll be the roll for, because it hasn't been revealed yet. <coughs> Excuse me, the MRL is eight. Three. We've only got one step, so okay. So the morale is eight. Take away two for disorganised. Six. Take away two for fatigue and demoralised. Takes it to a four. Seven. So they go back. Two more hexes. One, two to there. Again, avoiding going through routed because that's. A recipe for disaster. So that's the rally attempts here. So I'll bring the camera over to here. Okay, so remembering it's turn nine, so anything with a seven or less. So these two can't rally. And but down here, some can. I think the one with stacked with Fresnel has a six. Now we have an interesting little conundrum. If he fails to rally that unit, they have to go back two hexes which will take them into there. Will that overstack them? Unit number 37. It's got six steps. And unit number three, you've got two, so it's eight steps. And this unit itself, unit 35, that's got six. So if that fails to, to rally, only option is to go back into here. That will cause overstacking problems, which would be disorders. They're already disorders, might start causing routes. So I reckon the best thing to do with this one is not attempt to rally it. But attempt to rally these guys to get them off the road. Or, oh, that's a good point, if these actually fail to rally, they go off, then you can, yes, then it's going to be worthwhile trying it. So testing Whispelini first. Okay, so the top unit's got a printed morale of 9. Spellini makes him 10. However... He's got minus two for being disorganized, so it takes him to a seven. And minus two for demoralized and fatigue, takes him down to a five. So that's a five to rally. Nine, they fail, they go off. Spleen doesn't have to go with them. So, I'm not sure if their steps count towards the overall army morale, so I'll check that in a minute. This unit, printed morale of 7, Spleeny 8, and effectively minus 4. They need a 4. There you go, off board 2. And then we might as well try that one with Fresnel. He gives a plus one morale, then print morale is eight, becomes nine, to minus the four, which we've gone through. No, nope, they go back two. So they fall back here. Okay, so that's the rally attempts. Fatigue increase. So I've got down here Spolini plus one, so he now goes to six. And Becker's plus one. He goes up to six. Okay.
just checked a rule. A unit that starts in a town or a village hex and it fails a rally attempt does not have to fall back. So the unit that was on the extreme right didn't have to fall back when it failed in the woods. So um, that's all okay. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, hit that like and subscribe button. It'd be much appreciated. But most of all, say something. Make a comment. If you like what you've seen, if you don't like what you see. If you can see something I've missed or a tactical nuance that you think might, uh, might improve my play or my opponent's play, make a comment, even if you just say hi. Until next time.